All right, Kylie, thank you. Well, Indianapolis-based Edusource develops custom software for clients while training the next generation of talent through real-life projects. College students are hired as apprentices for two years, learning valuable skills before they find their first job. In this week's Ion Education segment, founder and president Jason Butler is here now to explain how it all works. And Jason, welcome to the program. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, interesting concept, inter interesting model, and uh, as we talked off camera, you say we edusource talent, not outsource it. And this whole concept came to you really when you were teaching at uh, Taylor University, right? Yeah, so I was uh, kind of performing two roles. I was an adjunct professor teaching software engineering at the same time that I was managing a project that was outsourcing work overseas. Uh, what was interesting is when I came home at night and I looked at the code that my sophomores in college were developing mm -hmm. and comparing it to what I was getting from overseas, I was very impressed and I thought, man, I wish I could give it to my students, mm -hmm. uh, this, this professional work we were doing. And that's where the idea came from. I thought, well, what if we edu-sourced the work as yeah. opposed to outsourced it? Mm -hmm. Uh, and so that's really where we started. All right, let's talk about it because you are offering essentially apprenticeships, right? Two-year apprenticeships. Correct. So we, we view this as a leadership development program. Uh, and so we bring in students at the end of their sophomore year uh, in a university. They need to be in a qualified computer science program. Mm -hmm. uh, at that point, we bring them in. They work about 40 hours a week during the summer, 15 to 20 hours a week during the school year. And uh, we, we pay them, but, but they're on our real teams. Um, and so they'll earn about $40,000 over a two-year time frame to help them pay down school debt. But in, from my standpoint, the bigger issue is that they're getting real life hands on practical experience yeah. working on real projects side by side watching software engineering be modeled for them. Yeah. yeah so talk about that hands on because well first of all the money is real $40,000 yes. over two tiers that's that's very impressive but they really are getting uh, immersed in the in the whole uh, work project or real life uh, atmosphere. It is it's, it's an immersion experience mm -hmm. and so they're sitting right next to our, our senior engineers working on real real mm -hmm. projects uh, mm -hmm. so it's they're not getting coffee or anything like that they're they're right. smack dab in the middle of a real project, and they do that by year two or by the second week that they're in the program. Wow! Uh, and it's it's really fun to watch them then go into their second year in, in school and in classes because their confidence level is so much higher. Mm -hmm. uh, they've seen real life, they've seen real world experiences, and and our process is such that it really does develop them in a way that they I don't think they could get developed otherwise. And again, to uh, position them for that that first job out of school, if you will, Correct. they've got to come out of this uh, apprenticeship program in in pretty good shape. Yeah, they, they do. And, and in a lot of ways, we consider this a leadership development program. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we put them in environments where they are developing their leaderships. And so from my standpoint, I believe that leadership is about producing results. Mm -hmm. So they need to be producing results. They need to be producing them early and often. Can, can this be a model that, that can scale up and get, get larger? I mean, the, the, the whole concept uh, of apprenticeships, there's a lot of talk about you know the workforce situation out there and, and the need for more qualified, trained workers. It would seem this might have some potential. Absolutely, I really do think it is. Um, and it's something we've been working on over the last couple of years is systematizing this into a way mm -hmm. that we can make this into something that can scale quickly. And then we really provide that uh, uh, talent pipeline uh, to more industries or to more uh, organizations than just my own. Very so. good. Interesting uh, model. Edusource is the name of the uh, company on the north side of Indianapolis providing apprenticeships uh, and software development and a lot more leadership development, too. Jason Butler, thanks for joining us. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you. All right.